All right, everybody, it's time to talk about the Kanye situation. And you might be asking yourself, what Kanye situation? Because it seems like there's a new Kanye situation every couple weeks, especially. Have you ever noticed that every time Kanye has some new music to promote, he says and does some crazy stuff that gets him in the headlines and then he disappears again? It's a pattern. You might be tempted to say, oh, Kanye is not that crazy. He's not that bad. He just does this stuff to promote his music. Come on, he's not that bad. Well, yeah, someone said maybe that's a genius move. Uh, I might have said that a couple years ago, but uh, I would say Kanye at this point to me, I think Kanye is just a straight up bad person. And I also think his music is genuinely that bad too. I think his music sucks. I think he sucks. And I will tell you why the latest example of this, and we're gonna talk about more, but the latest example of this is as follows. So a couple days ago, Ozzy posted this on Twitter. He said, Kanye West asked permission to sample a section of a 1983 live performance of War Pigs from the U.S. Festival without vocals and was refused permission because he is an anti-Semite and has caused untold heartache to many. He went ahead and used the sample anyway at his album listening party last night. I want no association with this man. And uh, I say, based Ozzy, Thank you. I think that's cool. I genuinely think it's awesome that uh, Ozzy told Kanye to kick rocks because of all the reasons we're going to talk about in a minute. And of course, <laughs> Kanye being Kanye, he couldn't possibly just uh, take the L. He had to post this on his story, post this weird ass picture of himself. This is like Kanye in some weird ass, one of his weird ass outfits. Oh, that's Ozzy and Sharon. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, why was Ozzy wearing that? Is this like some Yeezy stuff? I don't know. So he said that he obviously has a celebrity handler who's on his account because he can't possibly handle the fact that maybe Ozzy actually just doesn't like him. Like Kanye's ego cannot handle the fact that that Ozzy actually said no. He has to say it's a celebrity handler. Well, I'm pretty sure celebrity handlers don't tweet in all caps. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, you might be asking yourself, why are people saying that Kanye is an anti-Semite? And uh, let me just walk you through a little bit. And let me tell you, like, I'm laughing because Kanye is so nutty, but I actually don't think it's funny. I actually think Kanye is legitimately like a horrible person. And I'm done making excuses for him, okay? People are saying, oh, it's mental health, or he's just having an episode, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if that happens once, maybe. But this has not happened once. This is a pattern that has been going on for years, and I made a lot of excuses for Kanye in the past as well. I think at this point, I can no longer make excuses for Kanye, and I don't want to. He's a terrible person, and so let's look at it. As just a few of the things that he has done. Yeah, he's a racist piece of dog shit and doesn't take his meds to have an excuse to be a piece of shit. Listen, I don't care. Like, the, the whole, like, he's off his meds kind of thing... That's bullshit too. The fact that you like don't take your meds doesn't make you say a bunch of anti-Semitic shit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Like we all know like tons of people with mental health issues and like they're not like basically Nazis, right? Like being mentally ill does not make you a Nazi. And I think that's a bullshit excuse. As an example of what I'm talking about here about his, uh, you know, his anti-Semitism. He revealed the original cover art for his album Vultures a while ago. And people, anybody who knew anything about metal was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This looks a little familiar. Looks an awful lot like this album by Burzum, doesn't it? And you might say, oh, well, it's just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. You know, he doesn't own the all caps old English font. There's no way that Kanye West is a Burzum fan, right? And he would never do that because everyone knows that Varg is a terrible person and that Burzum is basically a Nazi band. And there's no way that he would ever endorse Burzum, right? Well, not so fast because he sampled Burzum years ago, back in 2016, on a song he did with uh, with Gucci Mane, a song called Pussy Print. He sampled Burzum in this song. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's that, I think it's that like uh, the spooky like synth kind of sound in the background, I think. Safe to say that that was not Gucci Mane's idea. So that happened. Also, just to make sure that there is no confusion over this, a couple days ago, he posted this photo with JPEG Mafia wearing an actual Burzum shirt, right? So at this point, the guy sampled Burzum. He made cover art that looked like Burzum. And now he chose to wear a Burzum shirt 
in this photo, right? <laughs> we cannot make excuses for this man anymore. I'm sorry. If you wear a Burzum shirt in the year of 2024, you are a shitbag, right? That's all there is to it. Like, Varg is a straight up Nazi. And if you wear a Burzum shirt, that's the same as wearing a fucking screwdriver shirt or a Graveland shirt or something like that, period. Like, you are a Nazi sympathizer if you wear Burzum shit. That's just a fact. Yeah, it's like wearing a shirt with a swastika on it. That is a fact. There is no other way you can look at that. Although I did think it was sort of funny because uh, Varg is uh, obviously, like, an admitted racist. So I wondered, what did Varg think of this? Because I, I thought it might be funny for Varg to see a black person wearing one of his shirts. On the other hand, I thought, you know, maybe Varg is cool with this because maybe he shared common ground with Kanye over their hatred of Jews, which is basically what happened. Uh, <laughs> this is from Varg's Twitter account, which by the way is absolutely fucking amazing. And we'll talk about it. Here's what Varg said. To all those who want me to speak ill of Kanye West, no, he is not stealing or ripping off anything I do. As I have written in my book about black metal, see image, it is perfectly normal, natural, and fine to be inspired by and to pick up ideas from other artists. And then he says, and frankly, <laughs> and frankly, I think it shows courage to publicly wear a Burzum shirt like he has done. You risk the wrath, including boycott, of an entire music industry completely under the control of dot 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 a certain group. So kudos to him for that. So uh, he basically said exactly what I was hoping he would say. <laughs> he doesn't support white supremacy. He supports anti-Semitism. Oh, okay. Totally different. Totally okay. Got it. Totally different. In case you think I'm exaggerating about Varg's, you know, open hatred of Jews. Well, he's not exactly shy about it. Here's my favorite thing about him, though, okay? Here's my favorite thing about Varg is his obsession with foreskins. And uh, as regular watchers of my streams know... I, I, I'm a foreskin enthusiast myself, but not nearly as much as Varg. He has many, 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 many tweets about foreskins. Here's just one of them. My grandpa says he still goes to the range every week in case Germany wants round three, meaning in case he needs to shoot Nazis. And then Varg replies, I bet he has absolutely zero foreskin, <laughs> but not just one, not just one, okay? There are many more where that came from. For example, this one, the devolution of Star Wars from Princess Leia to, I don't know who this is, but uh, presumably this person is mad because there's a black woman in Star Wars now. And uh, Varg replies, I find both repulsive. P.S. I have a foreskin. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Another good one here. I don't know what this is in reply to, but he said, you have no real arguments, do you? Just made up cope from losers like you. I bet you don't even have a foreskin, do you? <laughs> they just keep going. Uh, here's another good one. Again, I don't know what this is uh, in reply to, but apparently he's apparently he must have made an RPG or something like that. He said, yeah, another foreskinless NPC called for the boycott of my tabletop RPG. <laughs> Why is the guy so fixated on foreskin? Uh, well, the reason why is because, you know, I guess this isn't really true anymore, but it used to be that if you uh, were circumcised, you were a Jew and he hates Jews. So this is the reason why he's always making fun of people who are circumcised, because that means you're a Jew and being a Jew is bad in the eyes of Varg. But uh, personally, I'm just glad that there's someone out there in the world that talks about foreskins uh, more than I do. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. Um, and also as another, just another example of this, okay? This is his new album. They apparently didn't go with the Burzum inspired cover art. They went with whatever this weird ass shit of some girl, you know, with her butt out uh, on the cover of it. The chorus of this song, King, the last song of the album, here's the chorus of it, okay? Crazy, bipolar, anti-Semite, and I'm still the king, still the king, still the king. They thought Headlines was my kryptonite, still the king, still the king. So he's bragging about being an anti-Semite and still having a career, which uh, I actually agree with. And that's sort of the point that I wanted to make here is that it's really sad and pathetic that Kanye is not canceled, okay? It's pathetic. And I'm not into, like, cancellation, okay? Like, in general, people say, like, offensive shit. I'm generally inclined to just sort of shrug it off and be like, whatever. But when it comes to being, like, an actual, like, Nazi, you got to draw the line somewhere. And the fact that people still allow him to put out music, you know, like, he had a commercial in the Super Bowl, 
right? What he refers to is that he was called that. Yeah, but like he's bragging about it, right? He's bragging about it. So the fact that he still has a career at all is like honestly disgusting, okay? And again, this is not even all of it, all right? There's some more. And this is kind of funny because he's so fucking insane. Here's one of my favorite clips. So this is when he was on the Alex Jones show, whatever, a year ago or something like that. He was on Alex Jones wearing a ski mask, drinking a yoo um, and this is where he says Hitler was cool, okay? This is when he said Hitler looked cool. It's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And He had a really good outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. It's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And, uh, and so you're in love with the with the with the with the with the, arch the, the, the the look of it. And he didn't kill six million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. That's Guys, get the Ronald Reagan clip they showed me yesterday. Sorry, go ahead. Ronald Reagan said, and he says Hitler didn't kill six million Jews. Said that too. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. So I think you know. I think Obama killed. Palestinians. Alex Jones is sort of trying to talk Kanye down. He's like, ah, no, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Hitler did uh, target uh, some people. So he might be wrong about that. So, you know, when Alex Jones is the voice of reason on a show, you have like very, very, very badly fucked up. <laughs> oh, no, I hear you. Here, here's where I think the frustration is. And Nick, you can comment on this. And Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. And then he calls Obama a Jew. Uh, yeah. So Kanye, obviously completely out to lunch, uh, completely out to lunch. Another good clip here from the same interview where, uh, where he says, I love Hitler <laughs> again. Like, okay, yeah, let me, let me just be clear here. Okay. There's a segment of the sort of crazy woke left that calls everybody a fascist, right? It's like, oh, if you're a Republican, you're a fascist. And if you like one of Elon Musk's tweets, you support fascism. Right. So there's all these just fucking nutty people on the far left that just need to shut the fuck up and stop calling everybody a fascist. But then there's stuff like this where, like, you can't look the other way at this. Like, there's no way to call this other than saying that you support fascism. I mean, there's literally like, listen to this. Literally. I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms. Amazing. Uh, but I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer. Can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms? But that's about no, it. No, we we no. I, there, there's <laughs> Alex Jones is trying to give Kanye an out. He's like, okay, now Kanye, you're not saying you love Hitler. You're just saying that you love the uniforms, right? 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 And Kanye's like, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. We, we no. I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. <laughs> he enthusiastically clarifies. Enthusiastically clarifies. No, no, no. There's a lot of things I love about Hitler. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, so there's that. He also had dinner with Trump and this guy, Nick Fuentes, who, again, I'm not one to call someone a fascist, okay? Or like a Nazi or a racist. Like, I don't call people that lightly. But this guy, Nick Fuentes, is actually like he's fucking insane and he like literally is like a racist sexist like hardcore like anti-semite piece of shit also uh just absolutely insane <laughs> here is uh nick fuentes uh breaking down why dating women is gay okay uh <laughs> dating women is gay breaking news you're gonna hear it here I'd be gay because I've never had a girlfriend. I think if anything, if anything, it makes me less gay. If anything, <laughs> it makes me not gay. <laughs> As opposed to less gay. Not that there's any gay, but it makes me not gay. Press X to doubt. <laughs> well, because think about it this way. You know, a gay person, gay people do date girls all the time. It's true. Really? It's true. It's got a point. And when I said on Elijah Schaefer's show, when they said, have you ever been in a romantic relationship? Have you ever had sex with a girl? And I said, no. <laughs> if you name searched me on Twitter, as I always do, all these gay people are coming out and saying, I've had more girlfriends than Nick. I've, I've had sex with more girls than Nick. So like I said last week, not only is, not only is that thinking flawed, but actually, it's the reverse. That actually makes me really more heterosexual than anybody. Okay. Now, <laughs> the man's got a point here. It's true. By the laws of inductive reasoning, right? Homosexual men are known to have had sex with women in the past. Okay. Makes sense. Therefore, 
if you have had sex with a woman in the past, you are also a homosexual. And uh, I got to say, the logic checks out. <laughs> you can't argue with the logic, okay? Yeah, gay men also eat food. Therefore, it is gay to eat. Well, let's, listen, I don't make the rules, okay? If you wear socks, you're gay. If you drink water, you're gay. I don't make the rules, okay, people? Yeah, he's done the math. <laughs> But these are the kind of people that Kanye is surrounding himself with, okay? And then, of course, this, which just blew my fucking mind. Kanye and Candace Owens wearing their matching White Lives Matter shirts to the Paris Fashion Week or whatever the fuck it was. The point here that I want to make, okay, is this. I legitimately think that, yeah, it keeps going and going and going. And I could keep going. There's more than this, okay? This is not even the entire, like, Kanye anti-Semitism iceberg. There's more, okay? There's more. And so my point here is that the fact that he isn't completely fucking canceled, I think is, like, legitimately disgusting. The fact that there are people who make excuses for him, like, how many people, let's look at how many people are on this album, okay? So, first of all, this album just hit number one, on Spotify, I guess. Pathetic, sad, disgusting. The fact that he hit number one with this is disgusting. And it tells you that people legitimately just don't give a fuck. They do not give a fuck. Okay. And like, I'm sorry, I know this is going to be a, a, an unpopular thing to say, but people hate Jews. Okay. It's just a fact. Like Jews have been hated since basically the entire history that they have existed as a people and people still hate them. And like anti-Semitism is basically socially acceptable. And this is proof of it. It's sad and it's disgusting. And look at all the people who are on this album. Okay. Uh, no, not that. Look at all the people who are honest. There's like, whatever. 25 people or something like this that were on this album and every one of them i'm sorry is a piece of shit every single one of them is a piece of shit like if you for example ty dollar sign is one of them you know timbaland worked on this mike dean worked on this jpeg mafia like anybody who worked on this is a piece of shit i'm sorry if you do a record with somebody who wears Burzum merch and goes on Alex Jones and praises Hitler, and then you do an album with this person after that stuff, yeah, they're all complicit. They're all a piece of shit. And so what that goes to show is that everybody is basically full of shit. People have no integrity. Everyone wants to call, they want, I want to call you a fascist because you fucking voted Republican three years ago or whatever it is, but it's okay if Kanye West praises Hitler and wears Burza merch and it's okay, right? That just shows you nobody gives a fuck. Is anybody speaking out against Kanye? Like Anthony Fantano is, and, and he should, right? And he's taking a ton of heat for it. So I think it's fucking sad. I think it's disgusting. I think Kanye is a piece of shit. I think everybody who's involved with him is a piece of shit. This is the reality of it. And uh, I think it is very unfortunate that anti-Semitism is as socially acceptable as it is. Yeah, I stand with Ozzy. Shout out to Ozzy for being one of the few people to tell Kanye to fuck off and take a stand on this. So based Ozzy, fuck Kanye. That's what I think. Fuck Kanye. I bet you don't even have a foreskin, do you? <laughs>